1381, contact departure, have a good flight. American 1381, departure, good day. Hey, Robert Goyer with Flying Magazine. I'm here with Scott Crenshaw with Next Dimension Aircraft. And Scott, you guys have taken um, a, uh, an SR-22, a Cirrus SR-22, and you've really done some wonderful things with it. Would you tell us a little bit more about Absolutely. what you're doing with it? Yeah, we've taken the, the basically the frame of the SR-22. This is an 05 G2. And we fully reached it. How many hours does it have on it? The airframe has 3,500 hours on it. So we've it's been well used. Well used, but uh, very good shape. We've totally redone the aircraft, Literally. really from spinner to tail. Um, starting at the power plant, we've taken the Gami Spec IO550. It's a uh, newly overhauled engine, and uh, we've added the uh, Tornado Alley Turbo Turbo Normalizing System to that, along with a composite prop up front. And then, so you're essentially doing to this uh, to the standard normally aspirated engine what Cirrus does with the engine in order to make it into the turbo. So you've created a, a an SR22 turbo out of a correct. standard SR22. That's exactly correct. Yeah, and so we partnered with Tornado Alley Turbo on the power plant. And then on the avionics side, we've partnered with Avidon, and we've taken the uh, install here and turned the interior into uh, an R9 install. So it was, it was originally the original Integra Avidon system in here, Correct. and it's been converted to the, to the R9, which is Avidon's latest and greatest. So we've upgraded from R7 to R9 here, so it's fully WAS, dual Adahars R9 install. So it's, it, when you're saying dual Adahars, that means that the, uh, the MFD is reversionary, so if you lose the PFD for some reason, the MFD becomes the PFD, and you, you Still got a full attitude. Keep moving on, yeah. Great. So it's fully redundant. And it's also, it's very pretty. I can't believe that you haven't done paint and interior on this. We, the, we believe it or not, we did the paint and the interior. Uh, total custom paint job on the outside. And then inside, we have uh, new custom seats in the front, a new uh, refresh the interior cockpit. And uh, of course, all this comes with a warranty also. Well, fantastic. It sounds like sounds to me like you've you've got an SR22 that is uh, very comparable to the latest and greatest that Cirrus is offering with their SR22 Turbo. Uh, I can't believe that this comes cheap. What are you guys asking for it? Well, believe it or not, compared to new aircraft, this plane is very inexpensive. This aircraft in particular is going for $420,000, and a new aircraft that's similarly equipped is $650 plus thousand dollars. And on the performance side, we think this actually will probably outperform a new Cirrus. It's a little bit lighter, they are so it's a G2, and, uh, and also once some new functionality is approved from Tornado Alley Turbo with their uh, world piece componentry and their density controllers, this is going to be the first aircraft to have it installed, and it'll probably add about seven additional knots. To an already fast airplane. To an already fast airplane, yes. So can you show me what you've done in the cockpit here, Scott? Absolutely, come on in. Okay, let me go around. So Scott, this is really something. Uh, I mean, I've, I have a lot of time in SR-22s and I fly a, a G3 Turbo right now regularly that has the original Integra cockpit in it, but this is a huge upgrade. I mean, how are your customers responding to this? Very well, the uh, Release 9 from Avidon is, is one of the best flight management systems in, in all of general aviation. It's a very simple, uh, functionality to use, and it's a very powerful dual Adahar system, so it has a lot of the redundancy, but it's also the simplicity that Avidon has been known for. Well, I'm looking here, and I, I see that we've got the, uh, the primary flight display, and it's just beautiful. Uh, I know that they're working on synthetic visions, so that's going to be a nice addition down the line, but even right now, you've got this wide HSI, and you've got the, the attitude indicator up top with the tapes. Um, so it's, it's going to be very familiar to people who are used to the Integra or even G1000. They should be able to transition to it pretty well, but uh, it sure is pretty to look at. We found the transition to be a very quick transition. Most people, uh, 30 to 45 minutes, are very competent to fly on the aircraft. Of course, we train them more than that, but it's a very simple functionality uh, interface. And then over on, in the middle, you've got the multifunction display, and this has uh, Avidine's patented flight management system in it. Um, they say that it's real easy to use. I've tried it out. What do you think? I have to agree with you completely. I've flown uh, four or 500 hours in Garmin systems and I love the system. However, uh, Avidon has made it very simple to enter, very complicated flight plans. Uh, reroutes are very easy in this aircraft as well as creating holds and flying holds uh, with a few keystrokes. Yeah, and this has uh, the dual adhars too, so you've got that redundancy built in. So even though there are backup instruments in here, you really have two adhars, two air data computers to begin with. And down here also, another nice thing that, that you don't get with the original Avidine airplane is, is the keypad. Tell us a little bit about that. So this is a much simpler and quicker way to interface and enter flight plans. It's a QWERTY keyboard, and, and most people are familiar with those nowadays from their uh, iPhones and whatnot. So it's just a very quick and easy way, and you can control most of the flight plan from this particular screen and have it entered right here. There's not a lot of moving back and forth between the screens. 
No, and there are a lot of nice features, like if you want to enter a frequency, you don't have to put the one in because every one of them has the one. Right. So it just saves you a keystroke and it's real clever. And on the flight planning page, when you want to enter a, a fix, it nominates the fix that's closest to you. So typically all it takes is a couple of button pushes in. The geofill there. feature they've come up with is, I think, one of the best uh, features. It's make sure, it sure does make it simple to enter uh, longer flight plans. So what about the panel? It's a beautiful uh, like carbon fiber look on the panel. Is that something you did too? Thank you. Yes, we, we wanted this install to stand out and to uh, sort of be a little bit better than what you may get from the factory. So we've done some custom panel work and then of course the custom two fitting seats. of the two-tone seats, interiors. Uh, so we wanted to make this sort of a very, you know, a little bit better than what you may get from the factory. Well, fantastic. Scott Crenshaw, Next Dimension Aircraft uh, from Sun and Fun 2010. Thanks for uh, telling us all about your airplane. Thanks so much, Robert. Mm -hmm.